Hello and welcome to Glitch Free Gaming and welcome today to an unboxing of Hocus Pocus. It is the latest game published by Ravensburger in their kind of Disney whole series that they've, they've been putting out recently. So this one is designed by Prospero Hall. And um, the first thing that I have to love about this game is the fact that the box is the spell book. Um, it does fit kind of quite nicely up on the bookshelf as well. Uh, so that's quite quite nice. And the idea of the game is that you are playing as the children from Hocus Pocus and you're attempting to prevent the uh, Sanderson sisters from making their potion. Uh, so we'll get to straight to opening opening up the box. Like I said, it looks like a book. It opens, oh, also like a book, just from the front cover. And then we have the components inside and it's fairly simple components. There's not too much to it. So first of all, we've got the cauldron where the ingredients get put in. And we have uh, one board, which is of the, the sisters. We'll put that to the side. Construction book, obviously. And then we have a few components which were already bagged, which is nice. Uh, so we have uh, the cat. I was going to say Minx, is that right? I'm trying to remember the name of the cat. Binx, Binx. Binx the cat. We've got these, these tokens here. And we have a deck of cards. So a quick look into what, what each of these do. So first of all, I'll take out these tokens. Now the tokens deal with the, we've kind of got two, two main tokens. One is the track token, which you put on to this board for the sisters. Uh, and it indicates what stage of the game you're at. And if it gets up to here, you've lost the game. Now, as I said, the idea is to stop the sisters from making their potion. So what happens is everybody gets dealt some of the cards. And there's different, different ingredient cards. So we've got the newt saliva. We've got oil of boil. We've got oil of boil. Dead man's toe. And thine own tongue. And finally, we have the dash of pox. Now, you might notice that uh, all the cards there were slightly different colours as well. So, in the same sort of sense as Uno, or, well, many different games, you have what we've we got. We've got five different ingredients and five different colours. Uh, so, when it is your turn, you can play an ingredient down as long as it matches either the ingredient or the colour. And in order to beat the sisters, you were going to have to stun them three times. And to stun them, you need to have in the cauldron at, the, at that point, either five cards of the same colour, five cards of the same ingredient, and then it's a special case if you've got five of the same ingredient and one of each colour, then you stun Winifred. So if you see again on the, the track card, we've got each of the sisters. And if you get all the same colour, then Sarah is stunned. And if you get all the same ingredient, then Mary is stunned. And if you get all the same ingredient and one of each colour, then it's Winifred. And that matters when you have certain cards in here that have a spell book on them. Try and find one. So there's one there. So the spell book on the card up here in the top corner, if that ingredient gets played out onto the cauldron, then you have to reveal a spell card, which are somewhere in this deck, possibly at the back here, here they are. So these are the, the spell book cards. And you can see that each one of these has, an, has a spell effect on it. 
and it also has right up at the very top in very small print the sister that it relates to so this one is for sarah so if sarah was stunned in this case and you pulled out this card well she's stunned so she can't cast the spell so you just discard it so that's quite it's quite a useful thing and of course winifred's spells are, are the most powerful so if you stun winifred then it's very good to, to be doing that very more easy to be stunning sarah or maybe but probably sarah is the easiest when all you're trying to do is get the same color on the top of each pile so depending on the number of players you have either three or four cards in your hand and on your turn you get to ask the rest of the table the rest of the children one question about what they have in their hands so you can ask either does anybody have any blue cards or you could ask does anybody have newt saliva and it's, it has to be a yes or no answer um, so they can't say yeah I've got I've got three blue cards or whatever they just say yes or no and um, so then you try to work out what everybody has in order to decide what it is you're aiming for whether you're trying to get all the same color or you're trying to get all the same ingredient to show up on the cauldron uh, and then the final part uh, well, the final thing is binks as well we said we've got binks here uh, and binks like the spell book shows up on the card. So if Binks comes out, then that player takes the Binks token, and at that point they put their cards face down on the table so everybody can see what exact what they have in the hand. So then again, if Binks gets passed about enough, you kind of start to see what people have and helps you decide how to how to play the cards into the cauldron. Final tokens that we have are these four um, there are other characters from the film. So you've got Billy Butcherson. You've got a, well, this is not a character, but the Circle of Salt. The Burning Rain of Death. And then Daylight Savings. And these are the, these are the four tokens you've got. So yeah, Billy, Billy's the only kind of extra character from the game. But there, there are other points from the game, from the film. Uh, and each one of these is a single use action that can happen. Uh, and these these kind of you leave them laid out above the the sisters' board, and then once you've played them, you just turn them over because you like you say you can only use them once. So daylight savings lets you swap one ingredient with any player. So you've asked if anybody's got a new uh, a dead man's toe. Someone says yes, you you swap it for them because that's what you need to maybe some of the witches. Uh, Burning Rain of Death allows you to draw three ingredients, discard three ingredients and then draw three new ones. Circle of Salt discards a spell, but then you do have to draw another spell. So if one of these spells came out and you really didn't like it, play the Circle of Salt and change which spell it's coming out. And finally, Billy Butcherson allows you not to play any ingredients, which again, you ask if anybody's got a blue card and the next player does have a blue card. You don't have a blue card and there's maybe you only need one more blue card. So you play Billy Richardson. You don't have to play the next person. Maybe has a chance to play their blue card and win that round. Um, so that's that's it. That's essentially Hocus Pocus in a nutshell. Uh, it's quite good. We've had a we've had a shot of it with the with the kids and they enjoyed it. We'll be playing it a bit more. It's good fun and we did just manage to to beat the witches it was good uh, we, we certainly enjoyed it uh, having the binks also helped with younger children as well because you kind of say all right well let's maybe suggest that they have binks they play a card that has binks on it and then we can see what cards they've got and we can kind of help them play the game a bit that way without really cheating the game which you might sometimes have to do with the younger children so yeah, that's uh, that's Hocus Focus from Ravensburger. So hopefully yeah, we'll be following up with a, a review on the website soon, so look out for that. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you again next time. Bye!